G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're going to have a look at the Helicontex Mini Service Pocket Pouch. Now last week I did this Bushwalkers uh, medical kit pouch and that's great to carry as an individual, throw in the car and everything. But what I started to use was this pouch for my first aid a snake bite kit. So what I'm going to do is take what's in here, transfer it into here and see if it all fits. But first, I'll show you the pouch. Okay, dimensions, 23.5 by 14.5 by 3.5 at centimeters, weighing in at 144 grams. They say it's made out of 100% nylon, and the color options are OD green, adaptive green, shadow gray, multicam, coyote brown, or US woodland. Now. That's what I've got in stock at Survival Supplies Australia, here in Western Australia. But first, let's show you this. Now, I'll be straight up from the beginning. I do like this pouch. And like I said, I can fit my first aid kit and my snake bite kit in here. We have a few, space for a few extras. We've got a little handle on the outside, so when that's in your pack, you can grab that and just pull it straight out. We've got the YKK zippers with some nice pulls there. The power cord with the shrink wrap on it, a nice big knot, easy to grab. And we've got two way zippers, so we've got the two pulleys. We've got the hook and loop or your Velcro panel on the front. So taking this. First aid patch off, and I can just put it straight on there. And there's the ID for my first aid kit onto it. We've got the normal grips here, and that acts as one too for when you're wanting to do your zip up, excuse me, just so you've got the pull on it, so you're not going to be messing around. Just makes things a lot easier. Let's turn it inside out and show you what it looks like on the inside. Now it opens up as a clamshell, so easy to get everything on either side. Now as we open it, we will see we've got a loop at the top here. So you can attach your emergency whistle or a light or anything you want to it. And then in the middle you can see the black strap there whether you're left handed or right handed that'll do up with your hook and loop so you can put your different size items through that now on this side we've got the elasticated webbing and it's a double one too so that might work for the snake bite kit out of here which I'm hoping to do and behind that we've got four pockets, just long pockets. Be ideal to put pens or pencils in so you've got an idea of the size and then pockets. And behind that we've got a full length pocket here. So probably the size where you could fit a map in there or you might have took it a little bit but that just give you a general idea. And on the other side Again, we have another pocket at the back, so we can put gear in there to organize. And we've got the highlighted one here, which is like a coated one, like a plastic coated. So if you're gonna put oils or anything here, you could put your, your gun oils in there or your knife oils, or you could put your medication or anything you want. It's a nice little organizer. And then we've got a Velcro pocket up here. And this is the one that I have been carrying. Just the smaller stuff like painkillers and anything like that. The small loose like the tick key and uh, some little, where are we? Safety pins. My brain turned off again there. It's getting more and more regular that is. So that is the actual Helicontex mini service pocket pouch they call it. It'll be big for your pocket but it's ideal to drop in the pocket of uh, 
be Bergen or something like that. It fits nice in the two litre pouches I've got on my uh, Savata there. That just sits in nice, it's as if it was made to measure. Now what we'll do, we'll unload stuff and see how it goes in this pouch. So if you prefer your kit on the outside, this is probably the way to go. Or if you're like me where you've got access where you can just pull the zip and get your hand and pull it straight out or fit in one of the pockets. This is where I go at the moment. Now using a different pack I might go to that one depending on the size and uh, the ease of use and that's what's more important to me the ease of use so I know where everything is and I can just grab it or put it straight back in. So none of this, oh, I've got to put this here, that there to make space. It's whatever is accessible to me to make it easier and better for me to use. Let's open this up first. Let's turn it around that way. Now, if you haven't seen a review about this uh, kit, I'll put a little thing up here or even show it down in the description box so go and have a look like I said it's a nice little pouch first thing I want to look at in these two loops here is will my snake bite bandages fit so in goes the first one in goes the second one so straight away my two snake bike bandages fit in there and they are, if I remember, yet 4.5 meters long each if you're wondering how long they are and they're 10 centimeters that way. So what else have we got here for us? Let's get all the bigger stuff, shall we? Now we've got the pamphlet, just the basic first aid information there so let's tuck that in that back part there and that sits nice in there now what i want to put into this section is the triangular bandage because that is part of my snake bite kit and my first aid kit now as you can see the size it would be great if it could fit there but there's nothing to hold it so that will just go underneath in that back pocket. Nice and easy access, snake bite, all in this section. Now we've got three packets of uh, gauze swabs, or three, and three different sizes. So we've got nine, 18, 27 altogether, because there's three in each packet, I believe. Remember, you have three pieces in each packet. So let's just put them straight in there and that fits nice in there. Again, plenty of room to close it up. Nothing bulging at the moment. Now this is the little small uh, yeah, conforming bandage. What I'll do, I'll put that in the centre. Is that I can loop the Velcro because that's in a packet as well. The Velcro is not going to ruin it. Look at that way, tuck it over, and now that's nice and secure. Now there's not much left in here. So we'll get it all out. this off the table. So what else is coming in there? A survival blanket. Now that could go in there. What I'm going to do is just actually tuck it in there and that's still nice and level. There's no bulging in it. That's just leveled that end up with this end. It's still got nice and easy access to pull it out. Or actually what I may actually do is See if it'll fit into the snake bite bandages. And slightly a little bit bulky, but it'll still close. But still nice and comfortable. I'll leave it there for now. See what happens. 
instant cold pack. Now, let's take it out of the box. That'll make it easier to put in here. I'll put that one at the top there now. And we've got the cleansing wipes. We've got 10, I think, isn't that one? Yeah, there's, there's that one. Yeah, I think there's 10 in this, this packet. Yep, yeah, right down at the bottom. Some room on that side. Because we'll open them up so they fit in easier. And that's gone in there nice and easy. Now we've got little fabric bandages, little band-aids, yeah, plasters. Call them what you wish from whatever part of the world you're from. And there's 20 assorted ones in there, different sizes. I am just going to slide them in there. Fix them all for blisters. It can also be used for helping to hold wounds shut. And when you get hot spots to help prevent you getting blisters. So, multiple use that one is. And that will go in a top pocket. And the tape, the micro pores paper tape. That can sit in the top pocket too. And the set of tweezers. So they'll go next to the band aids down here. That's all cl uh, gone in there nice. I still have space to put some painkillers in there. Uh, maybe add some pure, uh, water purification just so I've got a second uh, backup of them. So I've got them in my water kit and now I can have a set in here. So and I've still got room for more down at the bottom. Let's close it up. There we are, the Helicon Tex Mini Service Pocket Pouch. Just the right size, and room for spare, for my first aid kit and my snake bike kit. So, if you prefer to carry your stuff on the outside to get easy access, the Bushwalkers first aid kit, or medical kit, that's it, the Bushwalkers medical kit from Survivor Supplies Australia. I'll put a link to this down the bottom too, so you can have a look. And the Helicontex Mini Service Pocket Pouch. Now what I do want to check, if I have to reorganise it, is my light sticks. So that's for tying them up with. Let's tuck them in that pocket so I don't lose them. on the velcro that bit did, that bit of ribbon. Close that back up. And my two emergency light sticks. I think they might be better. Let's see if they'll fit in that centre part. Let's move that conforming bandage. It's going to be the best spot. Now we go in there, there's a gap. And there's the conforming bandage, sits in the middle. Wrap that around, do that up. Doesn't hold them very tight, but it holds them in place. Close that up again. So there we are again the Helicon Tex Mini Service Pocket Pouch as my grab med kit, I'd call it, my med kit and snake bite kit. And like I said, if you want something like this, this pouch, I'll put the link down below to Survival Supplies Australia. And again, this is Survival Supplies Australia's own Bushwalkers med kit pouch, with a med kit in it, which is everything that fits in here. 
The light sticks actually came from Survival Supplies as well, so I'll put a link to them for you. They're both really good pouches. So that now can go in my pocket on the side of the Savata Yaki, the two litres for pocket, and I can just grab that if I need it. Hopefully I don't, but I know I've got it there when I do. So if you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you out, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all, so you can be notified of all future videos. And hit the like button, the thumbs up. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much.